President Kennedy's Hyannisport summer home, he and Canadian Prime Minister Lester Pearson wind up two days of productive talks. The Massachusetts weather is cold and windy, but the atmosphere is warmly congenial. Among the points of agreement was the all-important one of Canada's accepting warheads for the nuclear Bomark missiles, the issue upon which Mr. Pearson won the general election from his predecessor, John Diefenbaker. Other steps announced to strengthen ties between the two neighboring countries were sharing in defense production and cooperation in the use of the continent's natural resources. Almost as Mr. Pearson boards the helicopter to Otis Air Force Base and thence home to Ottawa, comes a final communique of the acquisition of President Roosevelt's Campobello Island summer home as a joint Canadian-American public memorial.